Welcome to WTDC 17 here in Buenos Aires, Argentina, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Dr. Ismail Shah from the Pakistan Telecommunication Authority. Dr. Shah, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you very much for inviting me. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about digital innovation. I know you just come off a, a panel session for that. I wanted to find out what, why is digital innovation important in today's rapidly expanding digital economy? Well, if you look at the uh, uh, economy nowadays, it's all about, uh, uh, you know, it's ICTs and, and using ICTs to innovate, to find solutions to problems that otherwise are difficult to solve. And, and for that, you have to be innovative uh, in the digital domain. And what are some of the digital innovation projects and programs that your country is implementing? And what role can telecom regulators play to promote innovation? There are quite a few programs in our country. For example, there's a program on ICT for girls where training is provided to, to girls uh, uh, in, the, in the schools right from the uh, age, very early age, so that they become entrepreneurs. They have the right skills to become entrepreneurs and also work in the technology area. Uh, there is program related to persons with disabilities that we really take pride in. We have a policy also uh, that uh, addresses this issue. Uh, as a regulator, our main role is that we can actually bring in the traditional telecom sector and introduce them to entrepreneurs, and then they can work together. And that has been very successful uh, in our case. And in what ways do you think that digital innovation can promote uh, the attainment of the UN Sustainable Development Goals? Well, first of all, if you look at all the sustainable development goals, they all can uh, have a solution through ICTs. In fact, there is a study also on that uh, regarding, and that was related to mob mobile phone usage uh, for achieving uh, a particular SDG and the role that mobile phone can use. But that can be extended to the use of technology, digital technologies on each of the SDGs, whether that is SDG number four, which is quality education, you see a role of digital innovation there, 3D learning, for example. And just talking, of, speaking of that, recently we had a hackathon on SDGs. And on SDGs number four, there were a group of entrepreneurs led by two girls. They won a prize, and then they were invited to ITU. And they won a prize there at uh, Busan also. And similarly, uh, gender equality, like for example, the broadband or the internet doesn't discriminate whether you are a person with disability, whether you're man or woman or, or whatever. And the other important thing is that you have to see that in some parts of the world, it's really difficult for women, women to go out and work. And then with technology, they can work from home and they can be very innovative uh, in their products and solutions that they can offer. That's great. And, uh, and finally, how do you think that global meetings such as the WCDC can contribute to the promotion of digital innovation? First of all, you learn from each other, you meet each other, you know, Although we talk about ICTs and, and, and all, but still this human-to-human -human interaction is very important. Uh, so you know about other countries' experiences. Many of the countries uh, actually are, have similar problems and have found solutions. You talk to them. You also, from the ITU perspective, like for example, uh, they have this policy toolkit regarding innovation. They have done some studies on each country. Uh, and they have in, uh, identified the areas where each country needs improvement. And you can also see what is to be done in your own country. So uh, it's very, very important that we have these conferences and we have this experience sharing. Well, thank you very much for sharing uh, those insights with us and we look forward to catching up with you again in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you.